I want to thank <coughs> my three great colleagues who have shown such leadership on this issue, Senators Heinrich King and Markey, for joining us. E all, each one of them has been a champion against uh, fighting against climate change on many, many fronts. But particularly today, we're, we're talking about methane pollution. They are our leaders. And I also want to thank the many organizations and individuals who have made their voices heard loudly and clearly on this issue. Molly Rausch, right here, of, Mo of Mom's Clean Air Force, is just one of the groups that's worked with us. So today we're going to cast one of the most important votes, not only that this Congress has cast, but has been cast in the last decade in terms of our fight against global warming. This is a very big deal. And the fact that we are f using our first CRA on the methane rule shows how important it is and shows the, how the difference in having a democratic majority when it comes to climate change because we are able to do these things. Excuse me. Come on, come on. The world's last remaining flip phone. <laughs> no CRAs against flip phones, Angus. Um, it's, it's, it's really vital. It, methane, as my colleagues will tell you, is one of the most poisonous things we can put in our atmosphere. And the amazing thing is, if used to right, the right purpose, it can actually be a benefit. People can capture the methane, prevent it from going into the atmosphere, and use it for other good purposes. And that's why even some of the more progressive parts of the oil and gas industry are for this. So it's amazing that so many in the Senate on the other side of the aisle are still against it. It's not every day that the Senate can come together in a bipartisan way that draws the cheers of the environmental community and earns the support of the industry. But that has happened today. And as I said, it's one of the most significant things we have done. It is one of the first things we have done to fight global warming. It will certainly not be the last. There will be a long chain of activities that this Democratic caucus pursues as we fight the menace of global warming, which is getting closer and close. The danger is getting closer and closer and closer. We all know that methane is a far more potent chemical than carbon dioxide. It warms the atmosphere 86 times more than the total. And knowing how harmful this pollution, pollutant is, the Trump administration, just in obeisance, to the extremists in the oil and gas industry got rid of the rule that President Obama put in. And it was a very dark day for our globe when Trump did that. Oftentimes Trump did things just because, because Obama did it. One way, he had to do it the other way. My guess is he probably didn't even understand what this was all about. But the fact that we have the, the Congressional Review Act means that we can undo that damage and undo it quickly. And once we act, it has real effect because unlike carbon dioxide, methane does not stay in the atmosphere for a very long period of time, at least relative to carbon dioxide. The bottom line is, under President Biden's leadership, this Congress is going to move forward on many climate issues. Tonight, when he talks about Build Back Better, that is one of the strongest that is one of the strongest proposals on climate change that this country has ever seen. We will do everything we can to enact it, and we will enact it in a very green way. That is essential. So today, the Senate is going to take the first, just the first, of many important steps to achieve the ambitious goal that Joe Biden has set, and that is to cut greenhouse gas emissions in half by 2030. This is the first step. There will be many more to achieve that goal. Senator Heinrich. Thank you, uh, Leader Schumer. Um, you know, the bad news is, is that we have a huge methane leakage problem. Uh, as the leader said, methane is dramatically more powerful as a greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. Uh, 86 times more potent in the atmosphere, and we're leaking a lot of it. We leak it at well bores, we leak it in transportation, we vent it, we flare it, so much so that a few years ago, NASA 
actually could see the methane plume sitting over the northwest portion of my state from these activities. The good news is we don't have to do this. We have the solutions to this right now. The industry standards actually work and we can implement this in a way that will dramatically make a down payment on what we need to do to keep the climate below 1.5 degrees Celsius. So this is not something where we need some fancy technology from 20 years from now. The solution is here now. We know how to plug these leaks. We know how to not flare and not vent. We know how to make sure that our pipelines aren't leaking. Uh, and this is a huge public health issue. M much of this leakage happens right in the middle of communities, communities in my state that don't want to be breathing benzene and the other chemicals that come along with natural gas leakage. Uh, so this is a down payment on the action that we will take to restore the leadership of the United States of America and with President Biden begin to lead the world once again in addressing climate change. And uh, my hope is that we're going to see a big bipartisan vote. We will see what support we have from the other side. Obviously, we have some now, but this should be a no brainer. This should be a no brainer for every single member of the United States Senate. Hey, guys, did you know we have a podcast called WJ Live? The Western Journal's mission is to equip readers with the truth. And that's the same mission we have on WJ Live. You'll hear from writers, editors, and special guests on the most important topics of the day. You can catch us Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern and 2 p.m. Pacific right here at youtube.com backslash WJ Live. While you're there, help us out by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss any future episodes. See you there.